You guys. Rex. Why are we all here? I thought I was... I merely wished to examine the shapes of your hearts. That voice. Your. My name is Klaus. The architect of this world. I have watched over you all this time. I have seen your thoughts, your desires, the things you have achieved. So you did that just now? Yes. Those were not your present forms, but alternate possibilities. Your other selves that lie within. That is what I wanted to see. Our other selves? You mean we're all thinking stuff like that, deep down? Was that how we really feel? Then you saw it too? Looks like we were all shown the same kind of stuff. It creeped me out. What are you trying to prove? Those were the fears you harbor. I don't get it at all. What was your purpose in showing us this? Those were not pleasant visions to behold. My only purpose... I'm back, boys. ...was to find out... ...how mankind has changed. And where it is headed. And were you disappointed? No. As you stand before me right now, that is who you are. That is enough. Architect, sir. Huh. I came here because I met Pyra. Is this really Elysium? Are you really? <clears throat> Are you real? I will show you Hell and hell. Memories. Mine. Why have we take open twice? And those of this planet. This world was once the stage of a struggle for survival that dwarfed this current predicament. The world was an unseemly place, though glimpses of beauty persisted. What should people live for? Who should they live for? Carol, is it is it just Malos after they this cutscene? To harbor desires and struggle to realize them. That is the natural oh, state maybe. of man. But I did not think that was good enough. I lost hope for mankind. I searched tirelessly for an outside solution. And one day I found it. The conduit. Why it chose to appear before us, I do not know. However, its existence presented a new possibility. Possibility? Our world was not the only one. Endless universes coexist. Ah, right. Side by side. Yet all completely unaware of one another. The conduit was our link to these foreign worlds. And I opened that forbidden gateway, praying that it would change the world. Right. And how much longer is this cutscene? You have seen the plane called I know that we still have to see like the weird tree of life his weird tree of life thing. That is what remains of my world. When I opened the conduit, many people and many things disappeared into distant dimensions. 
All that remained here were the ruins of Moritha. And half of my body. Oh, fuck. Your body? Half of me lives on in some other dimension. But not for much longer. What do you mean? Shulk's about to kill his ass. Of my other self's demise draws near. Father, you. I was a fool. Because of my foolishness, I lost everything. Left here alone and broken, I longed for oblivion, but even that eluded me. This is my punishment. Yeah, the Retribution hold on. Daniel, have you not finished this game yet? The sin I have committed. Cause if not, then that was kind of a minor spoiler. There was only one thing. But I it's but not really. I had to atone for my sin. I swore to restore this world. Ah. So Okay, so we're about we're about halfway done with this cutscene then. Uh, well, no, it's a minor spoiler for this game that you hear Shulk's voice. So you know how when you're you, you're beating the final boss of this game and you hear uh, when it cuts back to Klaus here, and it um, it, you hear uh, today we use our power to fell a god. That Shulk. I could rebuild the world I had brought to ruin. Next, I began to recreate life. I gathered miniature vessels containing oh. memories of all this planet's what the hell? former life forms. The game can fall asleep in during cutscenes? Oh, that's fantastic. Across the cloud sea. These are the core crystals. That's minor, the boy. Crystals bonded with the Cloud Sea's particulate reconstructors and formed the nuclei of new life. Those nuclei developed into so, yeah, so, so supposedly the Titans. Who this the time, yeah, this is like grow larger, kind of the world larger. where, like, it started. Finally, then there was the event, the which created the universe that Xenoblade 1 is in, and I guess kind of this one, I don't know. If you want to know why Klaus is the bad guy, you're going to have to either Google it or uh, watch it at a Let's Play, because there is no easy answer to that question. I mean, yeah, there's that. His, the, the, like, this Klaus here like realizes that what he did was bad. No, so but it eats the good half, and the ha and the other half. Or well, if you want a more in depth, you should. I definitely recommend looking it up because I don't want to talk too much about it. Mistakes. Um, what if? Because it's way more, way more interesting like if you me figure it out appeared. yourself. To stave off these doubts, I implemented one final measure, and so the blades were born. Xenoblade 1 is a fantastic game. Oh, shit! <laughs> so even though it completely disrupted the flow of what was just going on... Thank you, Chad, so much for hit, uh, hitting that seven-month subscription. transition event and disappeared forever. I was left with the other two, Logos Ah, what's up? In the force of Double D, filthy, filthy. Damn. <laughs> Things are pretty filthy here. What's up, though, Chad? How you doing? Pyra. Those are the names that you now know them under. So, I am Numa. Managing the core crystal. I tried. To, yeah, no. Oh, yeah, no. Chad, this cutscene's going on for like another eight minutes. You had every right to do that when you did. All kinds of information to Logos and Numa about the selection pressure. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. This green screen style. Oh, experiences and emotions they share. Oh, rip. As the data continually accrues, 
New evolutionary code is sent back to the core crystals. And this code is used to create new, further evolved blades. These blades too become titans in time. And create new generations of life forms. This was the new circle of life I had created. Uh, it's on the. Th you can get it on the 3DS. Can't just Kingdom. Can't just be Kingdom Hearts and have people literally taking, talking in the black void. Oh no, but Daniel, if you have a new 3DS, you can get, you can get into the eShop. Uh, you could emulate it. I, it's it's good, but it's a lot harder than this game. It's there's a lot more going on. But there were also than in this game. Of survivors. I believe you saw them <coughs> when you were in Moritha. The unfortunate ones who clung to life. I would just watch Shaka Conroy's Let's Play then. Ah. You mean those monsters? Were they originally people? Yes. Core crystals were first conceived as a replacement for what? human brain cells. A product of mankind's age-old quest <laughs> for immortality. And that's what became of them. What do you mean, stationary? Oh. I feel like you'd want it. I feel like it's the better experience if you play if you have it on the go. Starting point for the creation of blades and titans. So, in one sense, their sacrifice was not in vain, though not all may see it as such. So tell us, in the end, did we develop as you had hoped? What do you think? Yeah, it's a Wii game. I doesn't really have true 720p. Well, those phantasms which you all experience. Nah, I've been for really going to Really? Huh. Those are feelings all right. Shit. that lurk in all of your hearts. As well as that man. Amalphasus. That's true. I emulated Xenoblade 1 with a 4K texture pack. Look great. Damn. Also, hello, something. Fogbound Turtle. They cannot help but seek a reason why. Why does the, the idol feel so good stance? Or in others. They seek a you right. They seek answer to the question of who they really are deep <laughs> inside. Such a very Jeez. lonely existence. Be gone, thought. Oh, be gone thought too, electric boogaloo. To be human. All this data passed through me. And I knew Homie wanted to play God, so he lost half of himself to another universe. That's that's the short of it. All of you. I would love Xenoblade 1 remastered on the Switch. In any way different from us before. So wait, just I so I guess I assume that time that's must pass differently. On, uh, Bacon on, um, Baconis and Bion- Is there, like, a name for their when whole world? Finally arrived here. I did nothing when he took away Logos and Numa. You're looking kind of thick. As Logos instantiated into blade form, Come on, game. Alright, well, I'm sense. definitely- I'm definitely playing into this direct. Go to all that trouble to rebuild it? Then why would you- It is fate. Fate. It is fated to happen. It cannot but happen. My atonement was doomed from the start. That can't be. I had made my peace with it. Once more, I longed for nothing more than to disappear. However, Something has now changed. I'd really rather not do that, Carol. I'd really rather just kind of finish the game. You and Numa. Me and Pyra and Mithra. You reforged your bond in a way I had not thought possible. And the life you share. He just wants to die. The conduit, which fell into a stubborn silence after the world's end, 
has begun stirring once more. This has to be almost over, right? Rex. The power they, they drop in bodies at a time. What do you mean? Wait, what do you mean? They... It comes leaking out of some far flung dimension. All right, that's good. And it is a I forgot how long this was. Fuck. He almost. Have I dabbed? No, I, I haven't. <laughs> the world Funny story about that. Change. Um, the other day, I was, you know, I, 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 I tried to hit the. Oh shit! Here we go. I tried to hit the dab, you know, as as white people often do, and I punched myself in the face. What's all this shaking? It is Logos. Malos. Trying to destroy this world and everything in it. What? Remember, at heart, he is but an information processing unit, neither good nor evil. He is driven by a certain impulse the despair that the man named Amalthus felt. I see. So it was right. What I felt back then, I mean. It'd be like that sometimes. <laughs> it really do. Rex. Yeah, that's just, uh, I think it's just that, well, there's, there's like another cutscene with the artifices attacking. What else? To stop Malos. And if you succeed? I'll punch him in his stupid face, and then... Probably get a drink with him or something. That's the sixth rule of the Salvager's Code. Xenoblade Ricky Game. Every time Rex mentions the Salvager's Code, take a shot. Once you've forgotten, the friendship's all set. I'm... Did no, Oliver tried drinking to, to forget? Drink yet, no. I see. Numa. No, I should call you Pyra and Mithra. What is it? There's he has to mention it more times than that. For having burdened you with all this. Don't worry. We're actually grateful. Thanks to you, Father, we got to meet Rex and everyone else. Every time Tora just says meh. Meh, meh, meh. Did her titties get smaller? I have transferred all of Elysium. She built like a capital P? <laughs> But like the we good kind of letter P. <laughs> Rex. Yes. I will disappear soon. When I do, the conduit will likely disappear from this world. You will not be able to use your power forever. I understand. We'll make do somehow. I'm counting on you. No, they did not get smaller. I'm just crazy. They're just... Alright, alright, you know what? There's a boomerfu on his back. Cry like a boy. <laughs> hey, Loam. Close. Hmm. Have you changed your mind about this world? Right now. I think... No. Well, Ch Chad's been to a few. Chad's like kind of getting like like the Spark Notes version of this game. But his girlfriend's gonna play it soon enough, so I'm sure he'll 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 he'll, he'll hear all about it uh, when she does. Damn. Galea, ah, it's lady, it's what, uh, Makanis, right? That was her? That was her earth name? Okay, finally. Hyra, where's Malos? If he is here, I know where he must have gone. Where is it? Tell us. The greatest of all artifices. Ion. The artifice that exists solely to destroy the world. Imagine, like... I Here, it's like an, it's, it's an artifice that exists solely to destroy the world. Marty. So what? It's what just, just, it's meant. just... Glaze, Lady Man. Alright, bet. 
Can we, uh, have control of the game, please? I got a Malice to kill. <laughs> All the girls are... It was some of the, uh... Then that's some what of the girls kind of look like uh, curvy O's. Party formation has changed. Okay. No. Is that where I just came from? No. Oh, we can actually go back and talk to Klaus. But we ain't gonna do that. Let's see if Pandora is gonna hit the dab. If she calls me master, it's a wrap. <laughs> a new locale. I've gained a new memory. Yeah, uh, looking kind of dick. Oh yeah, Corbin's better in every respect. But Poppy, but well, they're, oh, they're, he's better. He's better being a damage dealing tank, yes. Um, but Poppy Buster is a tip is a is like a is like a tank in the truest sense of the word. Does a decent amount of damage and can take and helps you take a lot of hits. I thought my game crashed and I was all fucking upset. Sirens? He's really trying to destroy all of all rest. If you guys do want to support, uh, be sure to hit that follow button if you haven't already. Also, um, if you have Twitch Prime, you can subscribe to your favorite Twitch streamer uh, for once a month. Doesn't necessarily have to be me. Uh, what else? Uh, you could join the Discord too! Exclamation mark Discord. Uh, once I finish this game, I'll definitely be doing a lot more streams in there. Also, there's, ah, there it is. Oh, eat my entire ass! Um, all right. Like I said, like they're, they're optional, and I'm only doing them to get Poppy Buster's thing up to max. I uh, only have to watch one more heart to heart. And how fitting that it'll be the last heart to heart in the whole game. All right. That's showtime. Hey, thank you for hitting that follow button, Daniel. Welcome to the Saturn Army, yo. Very much appreciate it. Also, we're saving now. Hey, thank you, Fogbound Turtle. Also for hitting that follow button. Welcome to the Saturn Army, guys. If you guys want to, be sure to join the Discord. Very much would appreciate it if you did. All right. Here we go. Now, there are some enemies here. Uh, I'm not gonna fight them if I can help it. Uh, one, because, well, fuck me. Um, they are uh, Artifice Colossus. And they're, they're really just kind of free. Uh, actually, you know, I'll fight one. Oh, fuck, I'm getting PTSD. I forgot to change, uh... Ooh, fuck. Yeah, so that thing we fought was just essentially uh, Artifice Colossus 2 Electric Boogaloo. Can I pause the game now, please? Thank you. So, um, alright, let's fix up the party. So, um, in case anyone who wasn't here, I'm gonna very quick go over my, uh, party configuration and justifications. Pleasures so, um, mine. obviously you have- bringing Mithra and Pyro, cause they're, you know, Aegis. Um, Nia, obviously, she was our first party member, she has a stake in this just as much as we do. Um, and because she can become a Blade, I, f I can bring her in addition to two other party members. This, this setup allows us to get in the max party members, uh, for this fight. Um, next I figured I'd bring Fiora because their counterpart's fighting- is fighting Klaus on the other side. Um, um I wanted to bring Zeke because his- his enti his entire country hinges on this success. Same with Morag. Um, obviously Pandora. I wanted to bring Shulk because he's fighting on the other side. I want to bring Sever because he was originally Malice's blade, even if it was only for a short time. Figure he has just as much of a stake in this as anybody else. Um, next I'm- um, th I'm not bringing Poppy Buster, this is, again, just for Heart to Hearts. Bringing Bridget and Aegeon because, you know, they're Blades of the Empire, and Aegeon used to be- used to belong to, um, Nile. And Tor doesn't really have a stake in this, so... I mean, yes, it's- it's his world, too. 
but I don't. I mean, he's just he's just kind of here. Also, Ziggy's daddy F, Chad. You uh, you you're absolutely correct. That 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 is a that 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 opinion that is yours. Yes, that that is a correct opinion. All right, turters improve. Ten minutes, Carol. You, I'm not gonna stop for the direct. Okay, bring it on. If, if you want to go watch the direct, that's fine. Um, but I'm not stopping. Dude, I mean, listen, who doesn't want to be Zeke, though? Like, uh, high key. Uh, oh. You guys are more, I mean, you're more than welcome to watch the direct. I just, I, I've, I've abandoned trying to finish this before I, the direct starts. Because the cut, the last cutscene is what? Is it like half an hour long? No. Those things behind. really do not stay aggro for very long. Okay, so I know for a fact that I can- No! We lost the upper hand! They really just do not care. Alright. Now before we uh before we before we do that, um Gonna go and uh get everything else. We are in the, we are in the final stretch, boys. Treasure acquired. Okay, unlock that door. Being, you can change your party a lot more Treasure often in, in one than you can in this game. But you know it, it calls for it a lot more. All right, so now we opened every door. We've gotten every chest. Hurry to the Ion Hangar and the deepest part of the Force Low Orbit Station. I actually, this actually, this is it. Th this is through those doors and at the end of the hallway after one more heart to heart. That's it. There's one more thing that we need need to interact with, and then. Oh, thank you, Daniel. Yeah, uh, yeah, I will, I will do that. Um, okay. I mean, they're exciting, right? But they're not as exciting as they used to be. Alright, here we go. This is not the last thing we need to interact with. There's one more thing. And arrived. Ion Hangar oh, Entrance. This is where we were going. This is a pretty small room, all things considered. Last heart to heart. Please... I'm actually going to view this one. But we can't afford to give up now. Indeed. If we give up hope here, there will be nothing left of all rest. That would leave all the people Oh, uh, about Chad, go for it. And a whole bunch of innocent folk. That worst possible outcome. But we're not in this alone. Jin, the Torna guys, and everyone back on all rest are counting on us. We've run into all kinds of trouble on the way, but we This may be the most formidable obstacle yet. But we can surpass it. When friends all together, nothing impossible. This is it. This is our final battle. You guys think this is the final it's boss? Drivers and blades this can do to yeah! And with that, I'm going to go over my final choice for party. Oh, thank God, I got I got fucking annoyed for half a second there. Um. Okay. The last person I'm gonna bring into this fight is Mikhail. Because Mikhail was so around this, huh? when Mallow start when Mallow started going through all this nonsense. I think he has a better reason than any of the Torna people to be part of this fight. And with that. Save our game one last time. <laughs>